What's going on YouTube? Cobra Bells here, back with another Scarlet and Violet video, and today we're going to be talking about five more Pokemon that you're going to want to consider trashalizing uh, in this format and in this metagame. So, in the previous episode, uh, we listed uh, our first five Pokemon that uh, you would want to consider uh, trashalizing, right? So go check out that video if you haven't done so already. These are five more options uh, that you want to consider. And again, I could have made 10 for one video, but I didn't want to make it too long. So I decided to break it up into two videos. So consider this part two uh, of our of our, uh, of our our series here. So, um, so I want to start things off with this Pokemon here. So I like Torkoal as another uh, good option to trashalize, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put up that GIF here. So Torkoal is really cool, right? It's always been a good Trick Room option, right? Because you can look at that base speed of 20 and, and laugh at it because you know that just means you outspeed everything including stuff like a moonness right so if you can go for you know those hard-hitting eruptions under your draw ability right um and then now you add something like charcoal for example or some fire boosting move like maybe even toy specs uh you know now eruption does a whole lot of damage and now you add terrestrialization to this and now all of a sudden Torkoal can just wipe the floor with anything. Like even things that resist eruption, right? Like maybe even like a fire type, like an Arcanine. You know, if you if you do a calc here uh, with like eruption, you know, Torkoal <laughs> in the sun uh, with Terra, like Arcanine is still going to take like a big, big chunk of damage. Like it, it almost might even like KO it, right? So, um, you know, consider that. Uh, and then, you know, from here, like you obviously want to pair this with like some kind of you know, redirection, trick room setter, you know, and, and like maybe NDD Hatterene, but like Torkoal in the back, for example. But like, again, we'll talk about team building and team composition in like other videos. I'm just like highlighting specific Pokemon that you want to consider terrestrializing, right? So um, Torkoal is one of them, really, really good option. You can even change Tyranitar's weather. You can change other like weather teams or even like the snowstorm teams that are starting to rise now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So like Torkoal is a really good Pokemon to try and consider and then just like, you know, you click either Eruption or maybe even like Heat Wave. That's another good move here uh, to consider on Torkoal. Uh, but yeah, I really like Torkoal uh, as another good option to trash All right, so let's let's look at another. Okay, so for option number two, I'm gonna take a look at something like Gyarados. So uh, so let's put put that up on the screen. Uh, by the way, I just want to say like again with uh, Torkoal Terrestrialization, I, I meant like Terra Fire. By the way, if you haven't done so, if you haven't guessed. All right, so like I'm still keeping it offensive here, but like Gyarados here. So what was the problem with Gyarados back in like Sword and Shield? The problem was Regieleki, you know, electric types just like zap this thing and then you just had no shot at surviving even with Dynamax because it had four times weakness to electric. Okay, now what you can do is two things. One, you can go with the defensive terrestrialization and go Terra Dark. Um, so... Terra Dark, not Terra Dark. Ugh, I always say it instead of uh, Ground type. So Terra Ground is what I meant. So if you go Terra Ground, obviously now you don't have any electric weakness. Now you have an electric immunity, uh, which Gyarados very, very much likes because you know four times weakness to that uh, just wasn't good. Rotom was run is running around, so you want to like be able to go for that Ground uh, Terra and then just counter that, right? So Gyarados as a Ground Terra is uh, is really, really nice. Uh, the other way you can do it. Um, is just pure Terra Water. So instead of like being four times weak to an electric attack, now you're just two times weak, but you get stronger water type attacks, right? So something like a waterfall, like a, a physical attacker uh, is really, really good. But uh, Gyarados in general is just, just like a good option to have on a team, right? Because you have you have Intimidate, okay? So that's one thing. Um, and then you're, you're kind of bulky a little bit, right? So 95 HP, 79 defense, and then 100 special defense. So that's not too bad for bulk, right? So it's really, really nice uh, in terms of how you want to run your Gyarados set. Like you, if you want, you can make it an offensive set or a bulky set. But either way, you know, just like those two options of Terra Ground or Terra Water really good. And then what you can do also is just like Tyranitar and Dragon Ball, this thing gets Dragon Dance. So if you want to make this like a really, really good offensive option, uh, that's also really, really nice. And again, as you're doing these um, Terra weaknesses and resistances, again, I encourage you to use... Um, the calculator here, the terrestrial beta calculator uh, made by, you know, Makio and JR. So just take a look at that. And again, we'll put it in the description below, just like we did in the first video. But here we go. Let, let me put in Gyarados. Okay. <clears throat> so Gyarados here. And then let's go to, again, Terra Ground. All right. Click Simulate. And then we scroll down here. 
So like, look at this uh, again. Uh, you have that electric community now, and now you are. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. You are weak to these things, but again, um, not a huge deal, okay? Um, because you know you're you're, you're still like th this is the big one that electric weakness, is, right? So uh, really, really good option there. Or you can just go like pure water, uh, which I also like. All right, either way, uh, if you want to be like on a more offensive option, just like pure water Gyarados. Is actually really really nice so now you have all these resistances which is cool and now uh you resist the, the electric uh, i'm sorry you're weak to just electric and grass type, but that's okay right um you know you, you you have a good amount of bulk where you can probably like uh, withstand some of those hits so um i do like gyarados here uh and again it just, it just depends on the team that you're building right so just be aware of how you want to build your, your, your squad and then gyarados uh could you know do some damage uh, for what you're trying to do right but i wouldn't just slap this onto anything and say oh my team is instantly better because it has gyarados <laughs> all right just just be aware and again we'll do all like team building stuff later on but again uh just wanted to get the word out there for gyarados so really really good option here that you can run with gyarados uh so let's take a look at another all right option number three i think uh a lot of people are gonna cheer for this one all right yes we are going to consider sylvia woohoo yay <laughs> All right, yeah, you know, this is just something that, you know, I, do, I just normally don't use. Uh, but now I saw the value in it uh, when I saw a lot of battles being played uh, in that private server. And Sylveon is actually really, really nice. I, I got to admit, in this kind of format. Uh, so with Sylveon, you know, there's a lot of dragons running around. There's still Tyranitar running around as well. You know, you consider Garchomp, Dragapult, Tyranitar. You know, Sylveon does really well against all of those. Uh, and you know it's it's pretty bulky too, right? 95 again, just like Gyarados, 95 HP. You know, 130 special defense. That's really really bulky. The defense is where it suffers. But if you got Intimidate on your team, you know you can always like uh, kind of offset that uh, a little bit. And then of course with uh, Pixelate and something like Hyper Voice, you know you're, you're you're just doing like a whole bunch of damage. And then you just terrestrialize. You know, you go for like a, a Fairy move. Uh, uh, fairy typing, I should say, just, just deal even more damage. It's just, oh my goodness, right? And then if you can go for like Calm Mind stuff, okay, I've seen I've seen Neil use this a lot. Like Calm Mind is actually really good on this set, uh, along with Protect, and then maybe like a leftover set, for example. I think it's really really good. Um, you know, and you just have like end game options, right? Because you can alternate your Calm Minds and Protects and get recovery, and then finish things off with like Hyper Points, right? You can also go for like Terra Fire. Uh, because if you think about the dragons, they're going for like Terra Steels to like counter this thing, but then you can just go like Terra Fire and then just go like with Mystical Fire and then just do like big damage on them after that. So that's really, really good. And especially after like Combine Boost, like Mystical Fire just like a whole bunch of damage. So I kind of like this uh, in terms of like what you want Sylveon to do, right? If you want something to like counter those dragons going for like Terra Steels, Sylveon's a great option, right? So uh, yeah, definitely consider using it on your squad if you haven't done so already. Uh, it's, it's very, very nice. Okay, so for another good Terra option, it's probably this one, Scizor. All right, so Scizor, um, I actually, believe it or not, let me just get the GIF up here for a second. So actually, believe it or not, I wasn't seeing a whole lot of it um, as one would expect, but I still think it can be good if you put it on the right squad. And I think Scizor on like a rain team is, is the way to go around it, right? Because if you consider like this Bug Steel typing really good, um on a rain team because you know you're four times weak to fire all right and if you're put on a rain team with like pelipper and golduck and that kind of stuff then i think scissor can do really really well obviously you're gonna be really running technician on this and then stuff like bullet punch <clears throat> so like and if you look at space stat like 130 base attack is actually really really good um now you add technician right and if you don't remember what technician does um Anything with like 60 base power or less, it gets like another uh, boost, 1.5 boost. So if you consider like bullet punch here, so you already get your stat bonus, you get technician, now add terrestrialization on it. Um, and now it just does a lot of a lot of damage, right? But the problem with Scizor is um, if you just intimidate spam it a little bit, it kind of suffers. Uh, so you have to be careful, which is why I think you need to put it on a specific kind of team if you want it to really, really do well. Um, but that that doesn't change the fact that it can't do well with like terra steel for example right because terra steel bullet punch with technician is really really good you can just like one shot a lot of things or even stuff that resists it like any kind of water type attack 
or what is that Pokemon I should say that wants to resist a technician boosted Terra bullet punch. All right, you're gonna deal a big chunk of it to, to their health. Like I'm not gonna lie. All right, so you know it's still a very good option that you have to respect, and you get priority, right? Because it goes first. Um, you know, of course you're thinking about other things in terms of the the priority bracket, but you know, still a very very good option that you can consider. Um, you know, really good against Sylveon, <laughs> right? Because that's uh, one thing you want to consider using for it. Of course, Hattery uh, that's running around. Uh, good options to have Bullet Punch for. So you know, consider doing Scizor because again, if you plug it in the calculator. <clears throat> The one thing that Scizor doesn't want to deal with is, is that fire damage and just being able to go for just regular steel, all right? And then put this on a rain team, all right, is really, really nice, right? So again, yes, you're weak to fighting. Yes, now you're weak to ground, but that's okay um, because now, you know, those that, that steel type damage is just going to do so much damage, right? So just take that into account, you know, consider it. If you want to like build a rain team, consider adding Scizor to your squad. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty okay, I, I would say. But that's why we put it as like number nine on our list. Like I wouldn't put it above the other five that we put in the first video. Like those are like super good. Uh, but like scissors is something to at least consider and experiment with is what I'm saying, right? So uh, definitely think about that. And uh, let's look at one more option here. Okay, so for one last option that you can also consider is I, I do like Hydreigon, right? I, and I know, I know somewhere Joe is like smiling. Right, <laughs> because he he loved this thing in Sword and Shield a little bit, right? I, I know he tried to make it work, um, but you know, just the format said, mm, I don't think so, Joe. <laughs> so, but nonetheless, in this kind of format, Hydreigon is actually kind of cool. And let me just go ahead and get that GIF going. Where are you? Oh my God, yeah, I gotta change some of my GIFs. These shiny GIFs, some of them are just like, eh. <laughs> the regular one is kind of better. But Hydreigon's a cool mod. Now, again, if you're going against Sylveon, that's a problem, right? Because it's, uh, you know. Your, your Dark Dragon typing just makes it four times weak to those fairy moves. But this is why you go for Terra Steel. Um, and then now you have a pretty good option against Sylveon, right? And something like a Life Orb set, just like be aggressive with Hydreigon, right? Because look at this base special attack, 125. The bulk is pretty good, 92, 90, 90. So it's really, really nice. And then 98 is actually not too bad either. But like, if you can go like Dark Pulse, for example, you know, Terra Dark, and then maybe like some Dragon move over here, and then like flash cannon, this thing is, yeah, it gets flash cannon, right? So Terra Steel is actually really nice because then you can like hit that Sylveon for super effective damage. And I know it can go for like Calm Minds, but like how many Calm Minds are you gonna be able to go for if I'm clicking flash cannon, right? Especially if I have like a Life Orb set here. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You can even go like Terra Dragon, you know, just go like, I don't know, what's a, yeah, I guess this one works. Draco Meteor and then protecting the last slot. Like this is also pretty good. Um, but like, <clears throat> what would you use Hydreigon for? So like, you can use it against Dragapult, you know, if you can outspeed it, uh, it and just hit it hard with like Dark Pulse, for example, um, you can go for Terra Dragon, you know, just to be able to, as like a defensive option against maybe like those Grass Fire uh, and Electric Attacks. So that's an option. Um, but like, just Terra Dark is okay, just because you can remove four times weakness to Fairy and just make it two times weak. And now you have like a harder hitting stab move of, of dark and levitate's actually kind of cool too um so i do like that option here uh, uh, along with hydreigon because you can always pivot it uh from a ground type attack uh which i always like right so uh consider hydreigon here you know it just just for that reason you know especially if things want to like go for those ghost type uh terras like tyranitar they want to go for terra ghost you got a hydreigon they're in trouble now right this is also why like <laughs> I don't I'm not on I'm not on the boat of of Terra Ghost Tyranitar. I think you, you should just go mono rock on it uh, in terms of Terra, but like Hydreigon's actually a really, really nice option for that as well. So yeah, that these are the next five that I that I wanted to bring to your attention. So, like Torkoal, really good, especially on a Trickum team. Gyarados, again, can be a, an offensive set, can be a bulky set. We'll do like videos, like spotlight videos on how to try and use Gyarados as well. Sylveon, here's a set. Um, we'll go more in depth of how we want to use Sylveon on certain teams. Scizor, I think it's pretty good on a rain team. I don't know how good it is outside of a rain team, but like on a rain team, I, I think it's actually pretty nice. Um, and then Hydreigon also is, a, is actually a pretty cool option uh, if you want to make it offensive, right? So uh, definitely consider these five as other options to consider when um, terrestrialization, right? So obviously, is there more than 10? Oh yeah, you can, t you can tear whatever you want. <laughs> 
All right, I'm just showing you like, just as of this moment, like uh, five other options that you can consider uh, to try and use uh, when doing your team building, right? So, um, but yeah, going forward, as more and more uh, information gets out, as we get closer to Scarlet and Violet, we'll be uh, getting ready for our team building video soon. So stay tuned for that. And again, once the game comes out, uh, you know, on November 18th, uh, we'll stream our playthrough on Twitch. So, you know, follow me there if you want to interact with me and, you know, just, you know, just ask me questions there if you want while I'm playing the game. But, but more on that uh, when the game arrives, right? So, uh, yeah, we'll be back with another video, guys, in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.